Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and we're doing a, a basic video on angles. So everything you need to know about the basics of angles. So what I'd like us to do in this particular video is to learn what an angle is and also to learn the names for different types of angles that we are required to know. So firstly, what's an angle all about and where did you see it? Well, you see angles everywhere in everyday life and angles are used in loads of different things in life from architecture to art um, to engineering etc to the natural world so you see angles everywhere now do you see any angles in the picture here well they're, they're everywhere there's a there's a what we call a right angle here which is 90 degrees between these two parts there's the angle the plane is leaving the ground at, the, the angles that the buildings are built with, etc. So there's loads of angles here. And the one I want to focus on is that one. There's clearly the angle we've got here between uh, the plane leaving the, uh, the ground and the ground. So that's an angle there. And if we took the picture away, that's the type of thing we see in textbooks from an angle. And we're going to like, draw out some of the key things we need to know. So firstly, what is an angle? Well, an angle is a measure of turn from one line to the other, both coming from a common vertex. So I'm going to label this thing here where the two lines sort of meet. This is what we call a vertex. Okay? And you could think of this as a ray line or, a, or just a line even coming out from that vertex and another one coming out from that vertex. And what you would call the angle, the angle is the measure of turn, let's draw another line in here to represent that, is the measure of turn, how much I have to turn that ray line or that line until it reaches that one. Or how much I have to turn this one until it reaches that one. So it's a measure of turn of one ray line or one line to another. So what we would usually do is we would usually have a symbol in here something like this, to just mark out that it's that angle there we're interested in. So this thing here is the angle, and it's a measure of turn from one line to another. And the two lines meet at what we call a vertex. So that's an angle. An angle is a measure of turn. It measures the amount of turn between two lines that meet at a vertex, and we usually measure angles in degrees. So we usually measure angles in degrees. So we might say this is, let's let's say for example, this might be 35 degrees. Okay, so 35 degrees, like that. And uh, the symbol we have for that, we actually say 35 and we have a little O sign raised up. That means 35 degrees. It saves us from writing degrees every time. So that's usually how we would write something like that. Now, I don't know if that's 35 degrees. It's just an approximation. Okay, so that's what an angle is. And these are the specific types of angles you need to know about. And you need to know their names and how many degrees in these type of angles. So the first one you need to know is something that doesn't even look like an angle. Imagine I told you that there was a vertex. Now I said an angle was a measure of turn between two lines. Now here, there's not two lines. Well, imagine there are two lines, but they're kind of on top of each other, as it were. And so this angle is twisting this line around all the way around until it comes back to the original line there. So all the way around, it's what we would call a full turn. So this angle here that we're measuring and I'm going to give it a sign like that, just to say we've gone all the way around, is what we might call a full turn. Okay, and this angle is 360 degrees. Okay, so this is, a, we, we call a full turn 360 degrees, like that. Okay, what other type of angles do we need to know about? Imagine that was our vertex there, and suppose we had a line ray coming out like that and another one coming out like that so that they're exactly in line with each other like that now that's what i'm uh, trying to show you as half a turn that's half of what a full turn was going from there to there is what we call half a turn okay and in half a turn 
there are 180 degrees. Now another, sometimes a half turn is called a straight line and what we say is an angle fact is that angles on a straight line line uh, the uh, uh, angles between this on the straight line uh, add to 180 degrees or make up 180 degrees so make up 180 degrees like that okay so a half turn is 180 degrees now having done a full turn a half turn probably the next thing we talk about is a quarter turn so let's have our vertex there and suppose we had a line there and we had a quarter turn now a quarter turn has got a name we call it a right angle. So this is called a right angle. Okay, so it must be half of 180, which is 90 degrees. So it's 90 degrees, and we usually give it a symbol of a square there. And we don't always have to write the 90 degrees. That denotes 90 degrees. So you will see questions with just the square in there, and you're supposed to take that as 90 degrees. Okay, so 90 degrees for that. Okay, what are the other ones we need to know? Well, we need to know an angle that is less than 90 degrees, an angle like this, okay, something like that. And we call these acute angles. And acute angles are between 0 and 90, okay, not including 0 and not including 90. Now, if you call this angle something like x, you might use this notation that x has to be bigger than 0 but x is less than 90 degrees, like that, okay? And they're called acute angles. In the next set of angles we need to know about are angles that are bigger than 90. We've just done the ones less, so an angle bigger than 90 might look something like this. And remember, our vertex is, say, here. Our vertex is here. Now, these type, the first type of angles we're looking for, if I call that x, that's the name of that angle, I'm going to call these set of angles what's called obtuse angles, obtuse angles. And can you guess from that picture what they're going to be? Well, they're going to be between 90 and uh, 180 degrees. They're not going to go up to 180, but they're going to be bigger than 90. So between 90 and 180, and we might write x is between... 180 degrees and between 90 degrees. An obtuse angle can't equal 90 obviously because if it was equal to 90 it'd be called a right angle and it can't equal 180 obviously because if it did it would be a half turn or a straight line. So an obtuse angle is between 90 and 180 and can you guess what we're going to go for as our last angle? Well our last type of angle is actually if I draw it in I'm actually going to draw it to look like an obtuse so actually let, let me draw it um, like this again. I'll draw it to look like an obtuse angle like that. And this time I'm going to label the X here. Okay. And these are what we're going to call reflex angles. Now a reflex angle is bigger than 180 degrees. Remember 180 degrees would have been this straight line on the bottom here. So it's bigger than 180 but it's less than 360. So it's between 180 and 360 and we would write that x is between 360 degrees and 180 degrees. Remember it can't equal 180 otherwise it would be a half turn or a straight line and it can't equal 360 otherwise it would be a full turn. So they're the six type of angles you need to be able to recall, name and identify. Right, to finish the video off, I've got a question for you. Here it is, and I'd like you to identify the following angles. I'd like you to identify angles A, angle B, angle C, and this outside angle here, D. I'll show you the answers in five seconds. Okay, well angle A, angle A was supposed to be a right angle here because uh, this line and this line are at right angles to each other so that was supposed to be 90 degrees or you could have written a right angle. This angle here was bigger than 90 but less than 180 so this one was an obtuse angle. Angle B was obtuse. This one here, this angle C, is clearly less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees would have looked something like that so it's less than 90 and so it would have been called 
an acute angle, so angle C would have been an acute angle. And angle D in this case, well, it's bigger than 180 degrees, but it's less than 360, so this one would have been called a reflex angle. Okay, and there we go. That's this video. Please tune in for another one. Um, thanks for loads for watching.